Hey everybody, it's Jared T from the Golden Gamers here. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, but I've been working on a lot of stuff. Yeah, and so today I'm bringing another tutorial, and it's um, um nice. It's kind of a tutorial on some breaking news too, I guess. Um, here, I mean, I guess this is pretty cool, like, if you're hiding something and you don't want to have to, like, see the pistons or something, just want to be, like, blending in, just do like that, and kind of blends. Yeah. Um, I'll show you how this is made. Um, just put some redstone, like, if you want, you can, like, bring your redstone up and bring it out or whatever you like. Um, or I could like hide this and then make it not in that, put it on the other side or something. But it's kind of simple. Set this to one. It ain't gonna really matter. Cause it's not a repeating process. Um, just do like this. Go up, up on top of it, of course. I always set these right there. I think you can do it without. I don't know. Apparently not. So, let's set that back up. Yeah, you can't. Um, yeah, there we go. And, um, yeah. And I always set it underneath. Because for some reason it doesn't like to work without it. Then right here it works. And it's kind of an easy little view. A little better of a view. Pretty cool. Yep. I just thought of that earlier. And go down. And... Um, you can also, I made it to where you can also close it back with that, which is really cool. Let me run down here real quick, and I got another little surprise for you guys. Um, I made a new house for us, and I didn't, I forgot to record the making of it. But see, I got creeper paintings, nether. Um, what I'll soon, well, I made my bed, and I call it a jail, too, a chandelier, kind of big chandelier, and look, don't ever go behind the paintings, there's TNT, I like my TNT, because it's, like, cool, we, oh, red, ah, oh, god, fail, okay, alright, there we go, so never light redstone in here, um, you're screwed, if you do. Um, yeah, my nether, I've worked on it a little, hold on, yeah, I'll fix that later. Let's go through the nether, nether's awesome. Entering the nether, building chunks. Ha, huh, chunks, and I made this to where nothing can, you know, like, break it or anything, and it's like a little safe haven. It's a coven. Yep, it's not that hard. Mm-hmm. You can also build, like, here's something I think is really cool in the nether. The clock and the compass, they go crazy. <laughs> it's funny. Um, yeah. And then here's my portal. My poodle. My poodle. Sorry about that. I was looking outside my window. Um, yeah. Well, it's been a kind of a short tutorial right now, so let's go ahead and, um, I'll just show you one last thing. I made an automatic cactus farm, which isn't that hard to make. All you have to do is, like, put rows. What I did, I put water in the back, which you're always supposed to do, which you are supposed to do. I had a malfunction, because I messed up, and, um, so I just put pistons back here, which reverses the current, and then it makes it go farther down, and it, like, pushes it, too, as you can see. Whenever I let it down, so, like, I can make it go up and down whenever I want. And if I don't want any cactus, then I just, like, let it go. So, and yeah, it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And it isn't really that hard. Um, 
I built a big one because cactus farms are awesome. Uh, one reason why I really do love them which I, is because of the normally you die when you touch them but I'm uncreated so I don't die but if you like surround your house with it I've done this before and I made like a it was kind of like uh, I'll, I might make one soon but it was like a monster trap and the whatever I had in there it would die and then the water would push it through I don't know if that's like I don't know but it just did like that and the water would push it on through and I'd get all the stuff and it was pretty cool um, but yeah um, I'll show you this later as you've seen Brett made a tutorial um, it was on this I had planned to do it but I got caught up making some other stuff um, I think mine is better than his cause it just is um, let's put some of this crap up uh, see how much sand I've gotten pretty cool um, then I'll go ahead and show you this right here. I call it the penalty box or an incinerator, either way. Um, it's just, ooh, ooh, wrong geese. And then you can use a piston. And then, like, if you can ever trick one of your friends into doing this and tell them, and then close the door behind them, just launch them in. Yep, and then they'll die. But I'm not going to because I'm in creative. Ha ha ha. I'll just put stone right here because I'm just that awesome. There we go. Put wood there. Wood fixes everything. And um, I've had a few failed experiments lately. Um, yeah. This was just something to make. I thought I could make something with it, but I couldn't. So, it's apparently not fixed yet. <laughs> I don't know if I ever put out my cobblestone generator, but here it is. It's kind of simple. Then, if you just want an easier way to do it, there. Oh. What? There must be a chicken in there. What's in there? There's a cow in there. That's odd. But alright. Well, alright, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.